Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a fun video for you. The guys were out the other day and they put the metal roof on Tina's she shed. We got a few minutes of footage of that and then we're going to update you on the tractor accident we had the other day and uh, let you meet the young man that uh, we tried to crush his foot. So guys hang on to after the break. We'll get you guys up to speed. Alrighty guys, like I said, we had the guys out here the other day, they put the metal roof on Tina's she shed, but uh, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm still under the weather. We've uh, started taking some antibiotics and stuff, and I think we're on the upswing, but uh, we just got a good case of the crud, a little bit of, kind of like a mix between a uh, cold and bronchitis, so <laughs> we're still uh, fighting that. In fact, you'll hear later in the video, I might have a little trouble breathing, you're going to have to listen to me breathe while I film the young man I uh, tried to crush his foot with the tractor so um, guys if you would just be patient with it while I was filming the metal roofing being done I was even sicker than I am today so um, guys I didn't feel a whole lot like talking and uh, but just try to work your way through it don't get bored and run off though we for sure want you to see the end of this video we got a, we got a nice surprise for the young man and uh, by the time he sees it he'll already know so it'd be too late so guys uh just hang on, we'll uh, show you them putting that metal roof on, and then we'll get to the better part of the video. Alrighty guys, we're getting ready to get started. First thing we're going to do is replace a shingle that's been replaced about a dozen times. But uh, we're going to get that up into place. We'll scan over here. We'll see old Seth. Wave to everybody, Seth. How's it going? Hey, tell them your foot's alive. It is. Did you see there are about, a, about a two or three hundred people wish you well for your busted up foot? <laughs> Right. There's Seth. He's uh, he's apparently still alive. Right. We'll get rolling on the roof. We'll bring you back when we got more to show you. All right, guys. Next step is they're putting this uh, gator skin synthetic felt over the entire roof. Kind of like tar paper, but it's different. It looks pretty cool. But uh, they're going to cover it all up with that. They've got their metal all flushed up here on the ground and marked up. They're going to drill through all the panels at once so all their screws are even. But that's where we're at now. Alrighty guys, they're getting ready to start throwing the metal up. Get the first piece up, they'll line it up with the edge. They got all their pieces drilled the same. That'll keep them straight as they come across the roof. But we are looking good so far. Alrighty guys, they got the top angle done on one side and they're just about to finish the top angle on the other side. Then they'll move down and they'll cover these lower angles. But uh, probably put the ridge cap on before they come down to the lower angles. But uh, doing real good. Everything's lining up real nice. Alrighty guys, got the last piece of the ridge cap going on. And we'll probably come down here and start working on the lower angle. But that's where we're at so far. Got the trim up on this end. He put the trim on the other end earlier. If it trim those lower angles the same way. And that's what we're looking like so far.
All right, guys. They're getting the last of the trim put on now. I'll give you a look at all of it. Looks real good. We're real happy with it. Done a good job. All righty, guys. That's about going to wrap up putting the metal roof on the shed. But uh, like I said, I, I apologize. I wasn't really up to filming too much. So it's a kind of a dry piece of footage, and I apologize for that. But what we got coming up is a lot of fun. We uh, The guys are on their way back out here. And uh, the contractor that we hired, he's bringing the young man with him. That uh, I set the bucket on the tractor down on his foot the other day. And uh, like I said, when I went to move that bucket, I hit the lever the wrong way made it even worse but young man's knitted up and uh, we appreciate all the well wishes there were hundreds and hundreds of you all wish that young man well his name is Seth and uh, like I said he's on his way back out here now Tina and I've got a little surprise for him he doesn't know it's coming but uh, we're gonna get him on camera here he's awful camera shy but uh, don't worry about that I promised him I'd do most of the talking so we're gonna go ahead and roll that footage hope you enjoy it all right, guys, this is Seth. He was the star of our uh, tractor accident the other day. I know a lot of people asked about him and sent him well wishes. He was real glad to hear that. But uh, if you aren't following the story, I uh, loaded up the bucket of my tractor with the metal for the roof on the shed over there, and then I proceeded to drop it on his foot. After I got done dropping it on his foot, I shoved the lever the wrong way and pushed it down even farther. So uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're going to get Seth to turn around here. He's going to drop the tailgate on my truck. Go ahead. Tina and I got you a little something. Why don't you go ahead and open that up. Why don't you know I wrapped that myself too. Professional wrapping. That is professional wrapping. If you look real close, I put the obituaries on the outside. I was sure hoping nobody he knew died. Probably. And we'll go ahead and let him get these out of here. If possible, my, it's my professional wrapping. Size 11? Yes, sir. I think, pretty sure, boot size is 11. These are awesome. Seth here is a good young man, active in the church, lives with his mama. He's a homeschooled young man, and he's apprenticing in the construction industry. Rather than being out goofing around like most teenagers, he's learned how to make him a living and get on in this world. So, Tina and I thought we'd uh, share a little bit of blessings with him and uh, see how they went, how they fit you. I think they fit pretty good. Oh, that. That's a good thing, because we can't send them back. Hey, you happy with them? Yes, sir. All righty. We'll go ahead and wrap this thing up. We'll get back up here on the porch, but Seth's foot's all healed up, and now we can make sure we can't do anything about what happened before, but we can make sure it don't happen again. We got him some good steel-toed boots, like a lot of you suggested, and uh, he seems to be happy with them. So we'll wrap this thing up. We'll catch you guys up on the porch. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Thank you for hanging around to the end and uh, we're glad you got to catch the update on uh, Seth and his foot and uh, his little surprise. So he's real happy with him. He was tromping around in the driveway with him after we shut the camera off. We did some laughing and talking and then those guys got out of here. So um, they're going to be back out here probably Friday. We're going to put that deck on Tina's she shed. And then we're going to start hauling materials out here for the workshop. I saw uh, today got the drawings for the trusses that will go on top of the workshop to make the roof. And uh, they look real good too. That will give us some overhead storage that we were looking for. And uh, we just couldn't be more happy with the contractor. He's done a great job. His, uh, his name, if you happen to be local here in Greenville, his name is David Wheeler. And if you're interested in having work done, you can contact me privately. And I'll make sure he gets the message and gets back to you. But... Uh, Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get the materials out here. We'll get rolling on that workshop and uh, we'll put those videos in the workshop playlist um, This one's going to be outside of it the little projects we're doing on the she shed or just some side work that we're going to use to fill the time while we're building the shop so 
Guys, we appreciate you spending your time with us. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment down below. Um, just uh, <laughs> any, anything you want. Just uh, let us know what you thought of the roof or uh, what you thought of young Seth's surprise. But uh, we'd love to hear from you. And he's been going through the videos and reading the comments too. So I'm sure he'd appreciate hearing from you. But guys, we really appreciate you coming by the channel. Like I said, if you like the content here, we hope you'll subscribe. If you do, then uh, please ring that bell. That'll send you a notification whenever we release a new video. It's a great way to keep up with the channel. It's a good way to follow along with the workshop series too. So, uh, like I said, we're glad to have you guys here. We hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, we'll catch you in the next one.